It's been an action-packed week. Lots going on with the boat and plans for what we're doing next weekend. Stick around to find out what all we did and where we're headed next. As 40-somethings, we sold our house, ditched our corporate climb, and traded our Porsche for a Prius. This is our reset. This is Sissy and Bud. Living on a boat, there's always a project to do. Here, Bud is shop backing out some water so he can work on the shower pump. He did a little routine maintenance and now it's back to working great. Next, Bud tried some of our new Norwex cloths on the windows. It took away a lot of the spots. There are eight wires right here. That's what I have to pop off. Bud is testing each cylinder to identify which one isn't working. was working okay, so now we're on to test the second one. That's off. That's on. The second cylinder appeared to be the broken one, so we knew we could replace that spark plug. Bud successfully got the number six spark plug replaced. The first day of fall is here, so we're excited. In long sleeves again, drinking coffee, enjoying this nice cool weather. But it's supposed to warm up some today. We're doing another little maintenance thing on the engine because we had it all winterized last year. So we just have a couple things we need to do. Right now it's fuel filters. So hopefully we'll get that done and be able to take her out today. We'll see. A friend of ours came down to help with replacing the fuel filters. They replaced the canister fuel filter and the carburetor fuel filter on both engines. Bud used a pass-through underneath the refrigerator to get to part of the port engine. Our friend was also working on the port engine, but he was coming in through the engine hatch. After replacing the fuel filters, the port engine still wasn't running exactly right. Another dock friend helped us diagnose the problem. Looks like we're gonna need to rebuild our carburetors. Unfortunately, it meant no ride on our boat that day. We took a break from engine work and enjoyed some weekend boat rides with friends. We took the boat back by the Belterra Casino Riverboat. It was fun to see it from the water. This is parked on the Indiana side of the Ohio River. Fun fact. This riverboat was supposed to open in August of 2000, but it hit a barge en route and sank, therefore it delayed the opening by a couple of months. I took this picture so you could see the dinghy on the back for a little bit of perspective on the size of this boat. enjoying the fall weather in Kentucky. We went out for yet another beautiful sunset cruise. Yeah. And it says four right next to it. They're easier seen from here without these in the way. See the four I'm touching it right there? See back here, there's a six right there. Uh -huh. and there's an eight. Uh -huh. So I'm putting the spark plug in the eighth cylinder. So even though that looks like they're in a pair and they're in a pair, they're really spaced out like one, two, or sorry, two, four, six, eight, but they're equally spaced. So these wires are coming down here and then towards me into these holes. Once we identified the issue with the carburetor, 
Bud had to replace all eight spark plugs. Next up is using this contraption to do an oil change. In a car, the oil is drained from a plug in the pan. There isn't room to do this on the boat. So instead, the oil is extracted through the dipstick straw. Hey, we are headed up to Northern Kentucky. We are selling my car today. So we go away every winter and we have to winterize it and store it somewhere. So it just doesn't seem to make sense anymore. So today's the day we get rid of it. October also starts Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I'm planning to do a short video every day to help raise awareness, especially for women under 50. I'll put a link here, and it will be in the description if you want to access the Breast Cancer Journey playlist. Hey, we officially sold the car, so now that that's behind us, we can start thinking about the weekend. We are gonna head up the Kentucky River and go to Frankfort, Kentucky. So we're headed out on our friend's pontoon boat on Saturday morning. So we need to start thinking about what are we gonna pack, which won't be a lot since it's only one night, but there's a lot to think about. Even gas, are we gonna have enough gas in the boat? I think we might have to take a gas can just in case. What do you think, bud? Oh, I am so excited. The Kentucky River is a tributary of the Ohio River. We will be going through four locks to get to Frankfort, Kentucky. We'll be sure to capture lots of videos so you can see all of these different locks. Be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss it when we upload the video. Subscribe to the Sissy and Bud channel to explore more fun locations. Get your mammogram. Talk soon.